As we work to learn more about a crash that killed a man crossing the street in Speedway, pedestrian safety advocates are calling for safety improvements on all the roads all across Marion County. Our Anna Chalker tonight shares their message. Eric Holt with Indy Ped Crisis says the fatal crash here at North High School Road was the 40th fatal crash involving a pedestrian or a bicyclist this year. And he said he has seen an increase in crashes and he hopes city leaders see it as well. That's why he tracks every reported incident in the city. This year, IndyPed Crisis has received 621 reports of a bicyclist or pedestrian struck. Things are continuing to get worse. Um, and uh, I think the data shows that we really need to, as a city, take this as seriously as it is. He's not the only one advocating for safety improvements. Others say every year there's an increase in people getting hit and hurt in the road. My frustration comes from the fact that I'm not seeing enough stuff happen fast enough to actually make a difference. According to the Indianapolis DPW website, the city's 2023 construction season did include adding new bike lanes, crosswalks and signalized intersections. But Schmucker fears that's not enough. She says as the new year approaches, Indianapolis should look at what other major cities are doing to improve safety on the roads. This is a health crisis, it's a safety crisis, and it needs to be dealt with in that manner. Both Holt and Schmucker say they have talked with some city county councilors about new safety proposals, but they want talk to lead to action. Acknowledging what we're seeing would actually go a long way as a first step. Both say once improvements to pedestrian and bicyclist safety start, the roads will become safer for everyone. In Indianapolis, Anna Chalker, 13 News. And we did reach out to city county council members for comment on these crashes, but no one was available to talk with us today.